So I see lots of people online always asking about where they can get free music for their YouTube videos. Well, I'm going to show you right now how you can create some on just your phone for free in less than 10 minutes. Let's go. All right, so the purpose of this tutorial is to allow someone who can't play any musical instrument to create some music using their iPhone. So let's get started by opening up GarageBand and opening up a new project. All right, so now that we have our new project open in GarageBand, we're going to swipe over to the drummer uh, instrument here. And so this will allow you to um, just have a drum beat without knowing how to play. So we just hit play here. You're gonna hear this very basic beat. There are so many different options with this. You can just experiment with this for hours. But for this tutorial, we're just going to uh, just pick the maybe the second one here. So let's go with this. Um, basically the same thing. Uh, we'll make some very slight changes here to it. All right, that sounds great. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to um, shrink the size of of this um, drum loop because we only want this to be about 10 seconds or so uh, for an intro. So here, let's take this from the default eight bars and let's knock this down to six. Um, that way it'll give us a little bit of room for an intro and for an outro. So now let's... Uh, Let's move this drum track over so we have room for uh, something to lead into it. Drums are going to start. They're going to play. Then when we hit the end, we'll do something here at the end to close out the intro. All right, great. So now let's add this new track. We're going to swipe over and we are going to go to a keyboard sample. We're going to do something for the intro piece here. So let's see, let's use one of these sound effects. Let's see, how does this sound? Okay, all right. So as you can see, I just pressed one key and then I just swiped to make it go up. ends right when the beat starts. That's that's okay for the purposes of this tutorial. Okay. So now let's add another one for the end. Hmm. I don't know about this one. Let's change this. Okay. All right, great. So we'll just add that to the very end. And so sometimes you'll notice that it didn't actually record your note. And so when that happens, this is how we're going to go in and we're going to make sure that we, we put the note there. Um, this is another way that you can um, add uh, notes to an instrument without uh, actually having to play it in real time. All right, so we edit it. We go into the note editor here. And so we're just going to scroll down to where the note is that we want to play this G right here. And so then we have to touch this and swipe this editor pencil over. So now it's unlocked and now we can add this note. So then you just touch, you add the note, you can add another one. We're gonna undo that. Okay, so then we can turn the editing off. And so now we can actually make this note longer stretch this note out a little bit longer. Okay, so now you can see we actually have the note there. 
and now we can hear it. So now we just start to add some effects, some, some echo, some reverb. Face, and you just select whichever track that you want and then you can change the effects for each one of these tracks. So now we're going to use the FX part of GarageBand. This is where it gets really fun. So I'm just using my finger to, to move around on this filter pad. Go low. Very neat effect. So now let's do something with the repeater. So you can make it stutter. Back and forth. Very neat effect. So now let's add this little scratch effect in. Let's see what that sounds like. Pretty neat. So let's hide this. You can see all of the the uh, movement of uh, the track pads that were uh, from there. You could at this point you could add other things. You could add samples. You could add other instruments. For this tutorial, we're just trying to keep it very simple. So here's how we're going to save it. Here's how we're going to export. So you go down to the share option. You choose song. Let's just stick with high quality. And so now for this purpose, we're going to open in an iMovie. So we select the Open In option. It's going to export it. Then we're just going to select iMovie. As you can see, you, you're going to have whatever apps available to you that you have on your device. This automatically inserts it ready for a video. So from here, you can begin to add your clips, add your titles. You can create your intro. So there we go. I hope this tutorial was helpful for someone out there and gets you started on the path of creating your own original music with just your phone. Be sure and drop a like and uh, subscribe to my channel. If you would like to see tutorials like this, I'll be creating lots more like this in the future. Thanks for checking it out.